Hey, how's it going? Dave 2D here. So the other day, a photo was leaked on Slash Leaks that looks to be the upcoming OnePlus 7. And this is a photo that speaks volumes of what this phone is gonna look like. If it's accurate, it's gonna be a phone with no notches, no cameras, nothing on the front screen. It's gonna be a thinly bezeled phone and it's gonna look super clean. Now we've seen other notchless phones from other companies before, right? Like Vivo, Huawei, Xiaomi, and even Lenovo, they all have these notchless, cameraless designs that look good, but this might be the first notchless and obstruction-free display phone that we see readily available in North America. So work with Verizon and stuff like that. And the way they've done this, the way that they've achieved this look is through a sliding mechanism. It's not clear whether it's a sliding pop-up camera or if it's more traditional slider mechanism, but those camera holes in that leaked photo really say something about how that camera is gonna work. Now, when you first see this, the first thing that popped in my mind, any kind of sliding phone, is that a sliding mechanism is gonna have more problems, right? Like more moving parts, more risk of failure, but we've seen some really durable sliding phones over the years. Like we've seen stuff like the Sidekick phones, we've seen some really good Blackberry phones, like the DTEC phones, the Priv. They're all really well built if you build it properly. And I'm assuming that the OnePlus 7 is gonna be well built because OnePlus phones tend to have good build quality. But having a sliding mechanism in any phone is gonna take up space. Like you have to have a rail system. You have to have different layers of materials to cover up the two halves of the phone. Like it's essentially two halves in a phone that slide past one another. And that takes up a lot more space than not having a sliding mechanism. And it's weird because OnePlus is a company that removed their headphone jack for the sake of saving space. And this is for a phone company whose user base loves the headphone jack, but this is the state of the industry right now. We're in a market where phone companies have to do stuff like this. They have to focus on aesthetics to differentiate themselves between everyone else. Like how do you sell a phone that fundamentally isn't that different from all the other ones out there? This, you do something like this and it works. It's such a cool looking phone. It also says something about OnePlus as a company. Like these guys develop fast. They went from the notch on the OnePlus 6 to the teardrop notch on the 6T, now to this in a span of like 12 months. They went from a regular size notch to a notchless slider phone, which is cool, right? They're not first to market with this technology, but they're bringing it to the masses. It's probably gonna have the Snapdragon 855 and then further down the line, they'll have a more premium 5G version. But the thing that interests me most about this whole thing is pricing. So OnePlus, they started off with excellent pricing. At this point in time though, they're not really like a budget brand. Once you pass that $500 mark, they're, I mean, they're clearly past that budget phone tier. They're in that like mid tier market, a very saturated market, but they're doing well in this market. I'm curious to see what this thing comes in at because the last version, the 6T was already priced a little bit higher than I'd like. I mean, it was a great phone. It just wasn't a cheap phone by any means. And if the OnePlus 7 looks like those renders and if it looks like the way that that leak suggests and it's gonna be super clean on the front, I think it's gonna be like a $600 phone. It's gonna be a great looking phone and OnePlus is gonna package it with all the good stuff like Warp Charge and Oxygen OS. But a lot of that price premium is gonna go to the design, to the relatively unique look of that phone. And personally, I think it's worth it. I think. I would be willing to pay that kind of money for a phone that looks super clean like that. But I'm not everybody, obviously. Would you? I'm curious, let me know. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.